All right, continuing down our digital forensics pathway today, we're actually going to mess around a little bit with a tool called EXIF. Now, EXIF uh, takes picture information that may have been captured during the digital process, i.e. such things as what type of camera was used, what's the red, green, and blue. It can actually provide some information such as GPS loca location, Latin long. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of information that's captured in digital media, especially with a digital camera or even a iPhone or an Android or any other mobile device which taking pictures and when people upload those images usually you're pretty confident that those images are free of any of that data especially if you're putting on Facebook or I believe Twitter does it as well uh, some of the most social media sites have literally stripped away a lot of that metadata when it comes in but if you were to take it and put it on your Google Drive that data is probably most likely still there so we're gonna tackle that today I'm gonna go ahead and open up terminal let me blow this up a little bit, and we're going to actually use a tool called uh, EXIF. So we're going to do sudo apt install and then EXIF, and then Kali for our password, and it's going to download fairly quickly. It's not too big of a program to use. Uh, already completed on that aspect of it. And if we do EXIF, EXIF dash H, it should give us the help menu. Oh, I stand corrected. It's going to be EXIF dash dash help. There we go. And here we can see the different tags that are available to it, right? We can look at version, we can do IDs, show the ID, and you can kind of see the different uh, aspects of, of what's going on here. Uh, for us, what we're really just gonna do is we need to find our images. Now I've gone ahead and downloaded some that have got EXIF metadata. Uh, GitHub provided me with a repository of these images, so I was able to grab some of those. Um, and I've downloaded them into my downloads folder. So I'm gonna go CD downloads, and I'll provide a Google link for this for you. So you don't have to go searching for those images and you can just download them off my Google Drive if you want. Or you can search online and get them from GitHub if you'd like, if you prefer, okay? So we're gonna hit LS real quick and you can see here that I've got quite a few images going on. I've got Dudley, Levitt, Levitt Utah, Tiff. I've got picture one, I got five. Uh, I've got quite a few, right? So we're gonna start with just one randomly. I'm gonna do XIF and let's do the Dudley one just for, for giggles. I'm gonna hit that one. Uh, and you can see that it's not following the proper specification, right? And I kind of did this on purpose. You'll notice that EXIF doesn't really like tips all that much. Even though it's in there, it's not able to grab a lot of that data. But let's try another image that I know works. Let's do EXIF and then let's do five. And we'll just hit that tab button and let's kind of scroll up and let's see what it gives us here, okay? There's quite a bit of information with this one. Now, not all images are gonna give us everything, okay? Uh, it really depends on the camera and what was tracked and what wasn't tracked, so on and so forth when the picture was taken. Uh, but we can get some information off this. We can see that it was taken by a Nikon Cool, uh, cool, cool Pick 6000, uh, P6000, excuse me. Uh, we can see that it was taken at 2008 on 11-1, which is November 1st, at 9.15 local time, or whenever the camera was set up for time, right? So that kind of depends, which means the date of the picture, if the camera says it was one date, it's going off what the camera said, not what anything else said. Okay, if we scroll down a little bit over here, we can see the originating time, uh, the digital time, we can see the components, and you can just see a lot of different information here. We can see the flash did not fire, it was in compulsory flash mode, um, and we can kind of go through, we can see the dimensions, and it's just a lot of, of good information. We can see a directly photograph, and then way down here, we can actually see the latitude and longitude. Right, so this is some, some decent information. Based on this picture, which is number five, we can see that the picture was actually at 43, 27, 52, and we can actually get a, a good reading of where that picture is. So I'm actually gonna open up a website here. Now this website we're going to is gps-coordinates.net. GPS I'll put it in the link below. Uh, I'm gonna, oops, I allowed it, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Let me get rid of all this extra adware stuff. And you can see that it gives us a spot for our decimals right here. Uh, so I'm gonna go back into here. I'm gonna grab this latitude, 4327. I'm gonna copy that selection. I'm gonna throw it right here. Now, if I do it here, it's not as precise as if I were to do it here, but I have to plug in that number. So I have to do 4327 and then 52.03. And then I believe we're on east. Let me go over here. And we are east. We can tell that right here. Let me grab that copy selection, and then I'll throw this here, and we will be east, like this, 
11 dash 52. So 11 degrees, 52. And then 53 dot 32, 32, like that. And if I get address, you can see that it'll pinpoint me into uh, Italy. And we can see that we're in Dirty Rat via Cora Asvero, Italy. And it gives me a latitude of 43.46 right here. Now it's saying 46, but we're at 27. So let me see what's going on here. Still giving me that 27 or 46. That's okay. Uh, so you can give us a roundabout access to where we're supposed to be right here. And I can actually get the altitude as well. Uh, sometimes it fails and that's okay. But we can see we're in Italy. And if you were to do into Google Maps, which we'll do next, you can actually get a pretty good bird's eye view. So we're gonna go to Google Earth here. Yeah, let me get over to the right item. So here we go, we've got Google Earth opened up and we're gonna search. We're gonna search and in here, we're gonna put those GPS coordinates. So 4327, so 43 degrees, 27 minutes and where are we at? Where are we at? There we go. And then 52. 52 dot, where is it? Zero three. And then we put our latitude, which I believe, so this was north. So let me put in north. And then we were east space. Uh, 11 degrees, so 11 degrees, and then 27, and then I believe it was, oh no, 52, 53, so 52, and then 53 dot, 32. And hit enter, and let's see where it doesn't pop up for us. We can see here that it's providing us the exact coordinates into Italy. And here's the best part. We get to zoom in a little bit. I want you to check this out right here. Okay. Looky here. Uh, we can rotate this a little bit, I believe. Let's rotate a little bit more. Okay. So that's the building. Now let's look at our picture. Let me open this back up. We're gonna go over to our picture right here, open folder, I believe it was in the downloads, and we were looking at picture five, and there you go. Doesn't that look familiar, right? So pretty sweet, that's Google Earth, that's using GPS coordinates uh, on both sides, but AXIF is a pretty sweet tool when you can use it right. Not all data is going to be precise, right? Uh, well, I shouldn't say it's not gonna be precise. If it's there, that's awesome. A lot of data, uh, however, has been stripped. But that's XIF tool. Um, I hope you learned something. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. We'll see you next time.